I just made adding shake to your video insanely easy. And it's all with this extension in After Effects called Shake Sauce. Now, Shake Sauce isn't out to the public yet, but I'm giving away the beta version of Shake Sauce for free in the description. It's already super easy to use with sliders to control the amplitude, the frequency, and the scale of your shake. While it is a super bare bones version of the actual product that's coming out, it's already dope. It's super easy to use. And I'm gonna show you how to use it to make effects, transitions, and just to add shake throughout your video. So in After Effects, to get your hands on the Shake Sauce beta, go into the description, click the link, download the file, it's all free, and then then go to Documents, Adobe, Adobe After Effects, click User Presets, and drag that file into this folder. Once you did that, go to Effects and Presets, Animation Presets, User Presets, and then you'll find Shake Sauce Beta. To add it onto your footage, all you have to do is go to the bottom left, right click, go to New, Adjustment Layer, and then drag that Shake Sauce Beta onto the Adjustment Layer. Like I said, right now, it's super bare bones. It looks really ugly. It's not gonna look anything like this when it officially comes out, but you can see there's a lot going on in the top left. So let's go ahead and close all of these effects, click off, and then click on Position Frequency, and then Shift click to Scale. Then go to these arrows up here and click one of them and it's going to open up all of the settings. Now it's a lot cleaner looking. You don't have to worry about Shake Sauce or Beta. You just play around with these five settings here. So before we go ahead and show what the Beta version of Shake Sauce can do, let's just play the clip. It's a very smooth, stable clip. You can see it cuts to another car clip. And now when you turn on the adjustment layer, you can see there's a nice shake. It adds a little bit of energy. It's nothing too crazy, but it's really smooth and looks good. Now I really like the way this shake looks, but if you're not a fan of it, you can now go ahead and customize it to whatever you like. The frequency sliders are pretty much how quick something is going to happen. And then the amplitude is how much it's going to happen. So you can see if we bring up the position amplitude to double what it was, it's going to be shaking a lot more intense. And if we were to bring up the frequency, even just a little bit, it's going to be shaking a lot faster. Let's do something like five. This is going to be super aggressive but you can see it has that energy. And the best part is you can see it has that nice motion blur already built in that we don't have to add on any external things to get that motion blur. And you can even change the scale to scale in or scale out super easy with the slider. So now let's say we want the clip to be shaking at the beginning and then like maybe 20 frames in to stop shaking completely, almost as like an effect to kind of transition into the clip. So let's keyframe the position amplitude, the rotation amplitude, and even the scale. And then we can go like 20 frames forward and then we can turn the amplitude of the position and also the rotate both to zero. And now when we play that, you can see we have kind of a smooth shake transition in. And we can even bring in the scale a little bit just so it scales in and has a little nice shake. And if you click U while selected on this adjustment layer, you can see we have all the keyframes brought up. Let's maybe make the scale scale in a little bit faster and then highlight all of these and click F9. You can see we have this really smooth transition here. It has a nice shake and then it goes and just plays the clip normally. Now let's make a transition between this clip and this clip here. So right where it cuts, let's go like two frames backwards. And then down here, keyframe the position amplitude and also the rotation amplitude as well as the scale. I'm gonna reset that scale to 100. That way it kind of zooms out this whole entire clip. And then let's go right to where it cuts and then bring up that position amplitude to something you like. Now you can also go negative too, and it'll give the opposite direction. So just keep that in mind. Let's go like something like negative 84 and then the rotate amplitude, something small like three. Now for this transition, I want it to be a little bit more jarring and just quick. So instead of 20 frames, let's just go 10 frames forward and then reset that position amplitude and rotate both to zero. So now you can see it's a lot more quick of a transition. It just has a nice shake. Like I said, it already has the motion blur built in and it's a really good transition just like that. I'm super hyped for you guys to be able to get your hands on the beta version all for free. That way a lot of you guys can test it out, give feedback in the comments. Like I said, it's gonna look nothing like this at all when it officially comes out. There's gonna be really nice sliders. There's gonna be a color scheme, thumbnails to preview presets. There's gonna be a bunch of presets that are already made. That way you don't have to go around and mess around with anything. It's going to be the best possible shake you would have in After Effects. It's gonna beat out Sapphire Shake. It's gonna be more fun. It's gonna be easier to use and it's just gonna look better. This is something that I've been working on and it's just a whole level above the preset packs. Well, presets are dope and save you time extensions are just so much more fun to use and they just look better. If you guys have any feedback on the beta version, just let me know in the comments anything that you have, an idea that would be cool to have in, or you have an issue or anything, just let me know in the comments. Everything helps. Like I said, this is a very, very, very rough version of what's officially going to come out. And I'm hyped for you guys to even just be able to play around with it a little bit right now. Like I said, the beta version is in the description. It's free. It's really fun to play around with. You can import it to After Effects really easily and just start messing around and creating your own shakes. But yeah, that's all I got for you guys on this one. Hopefully you enjoyed. Peace.